So Charlie Hunnam spilled the beans that he's cool with coming back for Pacific Rim 3, but there's a catch. In the 2018 sequel, his character was a no-show, and now he's saying he'd only hop on board for the third one if Guillermo del Toro, the OG director, is in the mix. In a recent chat with Inverse, Hunnam laid it out, saying he'd be down for Pacific Rim 3 or any other project if del Toro gives him the nod. Basically, he's all in, but only if his main man, Guillermo, is calling the shots. Pacific Rim Uprising has set the stage for an eagerly anticipated Pacific Rim 3, and fans are buzzing about what could make it the most thrilling chapter yet in this giant robots vs. giant monsters saga. The sequel does a commendable job as a middle chapter, seamlessly connecting with the past while paving the way for the future of the franchise. What makes Pacific Rim 3 stand out is its potential to bring a fresh and exciting conclusion to this geeky trilogy. Unlike some other film series, there's a genuine sense that the next installment could offer something new and captivating in the world of colossal robots battling monstrous creatures. Pacific Rim Uprising lays down the groundwork, and here's why the upcoming chapter might just become the highlight of the entire franchise. Taking the War to the Other Side In Pacific Rim Uprising, we discover that the masterminds behind the kaiju, known as the Precursors, are relentless in their quest to invade Earth. Dr. Newt Geisler, played by Charlie Day, unwittingly becomes a conduit for the Precursors after establishing a neural link with the kaiju brain in the first film. Even after the war, Newt continues this connection, allowing the Precursors to meticulously plan their invasion over a decade. Using Newt, the Precursors merge kaiju biology with Jagger mechanics, resulting in hybrid monsters such as the Obsidian Fury, a mysterious Jagger responsible for the death of Mako Mori. Newt corrupts Shao Industries' Jagger drone program to create an army of kaiju Jagger hybrids with a specific goal, reopening the breach between worlds. Three kaiju emerge from the breach, unveiling their true objective, triggering a volcanic event by using their volatile blood to detonate Mount Fuji in Japan, ultimately transforming Earth into a kaiju-dominated world. Jake Pentecost, portrayed by John Boyega, leads his Jagger team in thwarting the kaiju's catastrophic plan. In a post-credit scene, an unhinged Newt is held in solitary confinement by the Pan-Pacific Defense Corps, visited by Jake. Having succumbed fully to the precursor hive mind, Newt declares Earth will never be safe. Surprisingly, Jake reveals that Earth is now prepared to launch a counterattack on the precursor's home turf, signaling a new phase in the conflict. Pacific Rim 3 Into the Breach, A Fresh Frontier with Kaiju, Survival and Unity The established story angle for Pacific Rim 3 seems to promise an exciting and fresh take on the series. The idea of Earth's PPDC forces and Jaggers venturing into the Kaiju world to confront the Precursors introduces several cool elements. Firstly, the new setting of the Kaiju world offers a refreshing change. After witnessing Jagger vs. Kaiju battles in various locations like Pacific coastal cities, the sea, and frozen tundra fields, exploring the Kaiju world provides a much-needed breath of fresh air to the series. This shift in scenery, three films into the franchise, brings a sense of novelty and revitalizes the storytelling. Secondly, sending the PPDC into the Kaiju world alters the dynamics of the story. Stripping them of their usual resources, transforms Pacific Rim 3 into a survivalist thriller alongside being an action movie. The narrative could take on a slasher film vibe, with the group facing the horrors of the kaiju world, resulting in a darker and scarier Pacific Rim installment. This shift in tone has the potential to resonate well with the fanbase. Lastly, the storyline opens up space for a compelling subplot. Jake and his team might find themselves compelled to trust certain members of the kaiju species who don't align with the Precursors. Given Guillermo del Toro's initial intent to evoke an alien madness response with the kaiju's distinctive appearance, Pacific Rim 3 could tell a resonant story about overcoming prejudice and finding common ground with those who may seem different. This thematic exploration adds depth to the narrative and enriches the overall storytelling experience. Pacific Rim 3 and the Unfulfilled Dream of a Cinematic Universe the potential for Pacific Rim 3 to spark a cinematic universe was on the table, as revealed by sequel director Stephen S. DeKnight 
in 2017. In an interview with Nerdist, DeKnight discussed the broader vision for the franchise, aiming for more than just a series of movies. The plan was to use Pacific Rim Uprising as a launching pad, with discussions about turning it into a fully-fledged cinematic universe complete with spin-offs, TV shows, and various other projects. DeKnight expressed optimism about the expansive possibilities, mentioning the potential for the third movie to serve as a catalyst for a Star Wars Star Trek-style franchise, offering multiple directions to explore within the Pacific Rim universe. Ideas included main canon storylines, spin-offs, one-offs, and even the prospect of an animated TV show. However, the success of this ambitious vision hinged on the audience's response to Pacific Rim Uprising. Unfortunately, the sequel's lackluster performance prevented the realization of these broader plans, and the cinematic universe aspirations for Pacific Rim eventually fizzled out, adding it to the list of unsuccessful attempts to build expansive interconnected worlds in the film industry. Beyond the Big Screen – Pacific Rim Universe in Animation and Comics While the cinematic universe plans for Pacific Rim 3 and broader spin-offs fell through, fans haven't been left without new stories in the Pacific Rim world. Despite the absence of a theatrical sequel, the universe has expanded through different mediums. Pacific Rim – The Black an animated series that premiered as a Netflix original anime in 2021, brought fresh content to the small screen. This series, produced in collaboration between Legendary Television and Polygon Pictures, diverges from Pacific Rim Uprising and follows the events of the first film. It revolves around siblings Taylor and Haley Travis, who stumble upon an abandoned Jagger and embark on a mission to find their lost parents while battling Kaiju. The show spans two seasons, concluding in 2022. In addition to the animated series, Legendary Comics has contributed to the expanded universe with Pacific Rim Comics. Works like Pacific Rim Amara and Pacific Rim Aftermath continue the narrative from the original movie, while Pacific Rim Blackout delves into the adventures of Herc Hansen, a Jagger pilot portrayed by Max Martini in the films. These comic releases have provided fans with new perspectives and stories within the Pacific Rim universe beyond the movie screen. Pacific Rim's Potential Crossover with Monsterverse There were indeed discussions about the potential for Pacific Rim to join the Monsterverse, as revealed by Stephen S. DeKnight in a 2021 Twitter exchange with a fan. When asked about tying Pacific Rim into the Godzilla and Kong cinematic universe, DeKnight expressed interest and mentioned that it was part of his long-term plan, he even stated that Pacific Rim 3 was structured to end in a way that would have connected the two universes. However, DeKnight clarified that while it was his idea, it wasn't a guaranteed outcome. He mentioned that his plan didn't guarantee that the crossover would happen, describing it as just an idea on the table. This ambitious crossover concept would have seen the Jaggers from Pacific Rim facing off against the iconic monsters Godzilla and Kong in a shared cinematic universe. Guillermo del Toro, the director of the first Pacific Rim film, also hinted at the possibility on Twitter, suggesting that the Pacific Rim universe might coexist in the legendary Kaiju-verse, leaving the door open for a potential crossover between the two franchises. Ultimately, these plans hinged on the success of Pacific Rim Uprising, and given the film's lackluster performance, the envisioned crossover with the Monsterverse did not materialize. That's all for today. Do you want Pacific Rim 3 to happen, or do you think two movies are sufficient? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for updates, and hit the bell icon to stay notified. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.